Hey, this is gonna be a special edition of MailChimp. I'm gonna show you how to uh, add in a graphic or a video real easy. So let's share the screen and let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna log into my MailChimp account here and it pulls it up. You get to see everything that's within here. All right, so I'm gonna get into my MailChimp account and let's just, um, let's create a campaign. There we go. So I hit create a campaign. So I click on create a campaign and I'm gonna create an email and I'm gonna name it something. So let's just, we'll just name it Dave. There we go. Now, once you start developing your, so you're gonna pick a list. Let's just pick a list up here. I'm gonna pick it to myself. We're not gonna personalize it. If you wanna personalize it, that's where you can um, put in their first name. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that. So we're gonna click here. We're gonna then add first name on there and then we're gonna hit save. Then we're going to see where it comes from. It comes from me, Dave, and address is support at davestama.com. Then we're gonna add a subject line. And that can be anything. Let's just go Dave for now. But you wanna write a good subject line. They also have these tutorials within here, so it'll give you an idea of how, to, how do I write a good subject line. You can check those out um, at some point in time. Then we're gonna design an email. Now, they come, I have it as a save template, but you can pick any one of these. And what I would suggest is picking the one that you like. And there's a lot of them within here. So you pick the one that you like and then make yourself a template and then save the template. So what I do is mine comes out every day and this is the template that I have. So there's all different ones within her, but this is the one that I use for my name. So you click on that one, it loads it up. So the header and everything is all saved. So this is all gonna be the same. This is the basic uh, saved part of the text. And then I write it in there. So what we're gonna do today, so once you get this in here, all you have to do is click on that, comes over here, then you can just start writing if you want to. If you're just gonna send out um, a meme or something of that sort, then we're going to save and close down at the bottom. Then we're gonna scroll down here. Now I automatically have for an image that's in here. Now, if you didn't, you can add an image. So let's just take that one out of here. And you can have that preset in there that all you do is you drop an image in there. Otherwise, all you do is you drag and drop. So depending upon what you want, there's text, there's box text, there's video, product, whatever you wanna do. Here is what, so image, we're gonna drag and then you'll see drop block, block here, boom. So it goes in between these two that I have preset. Now, all you do is double click on there or browse. And then that's gonna show you all the ones that you have already that are loaded in here now. In this upper right corner, you're gonna see upload. So let's say we wanna upload a different image. So let's go into uh, our pictures. Bring this down here where we can see it better. So then um, let's go, here's memes. Let's go with that, or photos. So let's say we go with um, this one, what's your right? So it's gonna load it up. Now, this may be, we're gonna see what the size is. So as you're gonna go over here, and we're gonna edit this. So the best size to shoot it out at, it would be around 300. So if you click on here, 300 or 400. Perfect, hold on to that, boom. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click into here and we are going to put in 300. It automatically readjusts the height. So you're always, so you can do one way or the other. You can either put 300 in the height and it's gonna readjust the other one or it's gonna readjust this. 
So here we go. So now we're going to hit apply over in the right hand corner. And boom. Now, if that size doesn't seem right to you, then let's not save it. Let's close it out and it's still back to the original and then you can replace it that way. Now, if you don't like it at all, oh, this is the wrong one I did. You got your trash can here. So trash can, boom. This is gonna duplicate the block. So if you do that, now you got two of them. But we can pull on there and see that's for trashing it. Put it in the trash can, delete, and you got it. Now we're back to just one. If you wanna edit that one then, again, we're gonna do that. We're going to resize that. Gives you all the options within there. So let's go this route. Let's go 400. Apply. That's a little bit better size. So now let's save it. There's other editing tools within there too that you can use most definitely. So you might check those out, um, play with those, practice those. Now, all we're gonna do is down at the bottom here, save and close. And then once again, in the far right corner at the bottom, save and close again. Now, you're all ready to set uh, a time to either schedule it or you're gonna send it right now. So scheduling, when you get to that point, now here you can pick a date. So any date ahead, I'm on June 8th, 2018 when, I, when you're watching this video. So let's pick uh, the 9th. Let's say it's the 9th and now we can pick whatever time we want that to be. Um, I send out my emails at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. So here's a special one for that. And then you click on schedule a campaign and you're done. Your email has been scheduled. Now, if you want to go back and go, ooh, wait, I want to change something, then you go back and, and uh, then you hit the campaigns up here. And then you're going to go back on and pause and edit, or the drop down is going to be replicate, rename, or view the email itself. So we can replicate, or we can rename, or we can pause and edit. Go back in, oops, I want that to do something else. So now it says, Dave has been paused for editing. So now I can go in and change and make any changes. Um, maybe I want a different subject line. Maybe I want to add some text in here that I forgot to. Um, and if you do, if any one of these, now also down in the bottom, you can mark to have it go to, to tweet out. You can mark to go to your Facebook page. You can do any of those things. Now, the other thing you can do is you can have it just to send now. Do we want to resume the campaign or do we want to just send it out now? So we might just do that and I'm going to do it. Bam. Look at this. Same thing. Now it's going to send now. And it's, so you don't have to worry about, oh, did I, I sent it out. I didn't want, didn't want to send it out. You don't have to worry about that. So now let's do it. Let's send it. Boom. High five. There you go. So that is how you add a video. Video is the same way. Um, you just drag and drop that over, and then I'll show you that in another video, how you add the link to it. You're gonna have to do, um, either upload it to YouTube or something of that sort, and then you're gonna add links. So that'll be on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. And uh, please, um, if you didn't yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also go on Facebook. Look for me everywhere. Dave Stelma. So it's Dave Stelma, uh, dot com, Dave Stelma on Facebook and Dave Stelma in YouTube. If you like this video, like my Facebook page or subscribe to my YouTube channel or find everything at DaveStelma.com.